Hey guys, I am Lana. This is from Corporate to Crystals. We're back for another video. This is going to be another short and sweet one on my dog, um, on the collective consciousness. Okay. So my last video was about the war on consciousness, specifically within our own mind and how you and your own personal ascension journey, your own consciousness is kind of like what you need to be focusing on among other things, but you get the point. I'm trying to summarize it here and get people some like info. So within your own reality, within your own consciousness, not only are you making decisions for yourself, of course, and creating your own reality based off of those choices, but those choices impact the collective consciousness. Okay. We're all connected within consciousness. Consciousness is simply like an energy stream. It's a very dumbed down way of putting it, but you get my point. We're all energetic beings. We connect back to source. Source, we are all connected at, you know, the like God source level. We're fractals of that energy. Therefore, we are all connected. So when we clear our own consciousness, when we clear our own energy, when we transmute our shadow elements into the light on our ascension journeys in our own consciousness, our own ascension, we go up in dimensions we activate within our own physical vessel, um, higher dimensional DNA. As we do that, not only are we navigating our own personal journeys, but that is actually helping transmute and clear for the whole collective since we are all connected. So every decision you make, if you're feeling backed up against a wall and you're in fear or you know, whatever is going on, just understand that you are not alone in that decision. If you have any ability to choose the path of the light, the reason it's so important is because that by choosing the path of the light, you're actually positively lightening up the entire collective consciousness. And that's not an understatement. Um, at my level, I'm at zero point energy. And what I noticed, not just alone, <laughs> there's a bunch of people who are also at uh, that dimensional level. But what happens is as we go through something um, on like a in my reality, uh, I actually can see it trickle into the collective consciousness. Everyone else who's in my monad, um, we all are experiencing the same thing at the same time within our own like variations of it. Not long after that, it's like a waterfall and it trickles all the way down. So literally, all of us are connected and all of us are experiencing our own versions of like an energy. And as that energy is in the collective consciousness, it kind of comes out in a waterfall fashion and all of us experience it in our own way. Within our own consciousness, we then make choices or decisions. And based on those choices or decisions, it impacts our own personal ascension. And then that energetic choice that we make light or dark essentially, um, reverberates out into the collective consciousness. That's a really, you know, dumbed down, short, sweet way of putting it. But I just, that's like who I am. Like I want to dumb it down and keep it super short and sweet for people because your choices matter. They not only matter to you and your life and your reality, they matter to me. They matter to the entire collective. And so I just wanted to give like a really like basic understanding of how that works because I see it all day, every day with my own reality um, and the choices I make, watching it trickle into the collective is really incredible and you will see it too. I want you to open your eyes to it and I also want you to empower yourself to make those choices because it's not only about you, it's about all of us together and that's what New Earth is about. So, okay, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!